welcome to my very disorganized home. I think it's going to be like this for a few weeks. <laughs> Definitely it will be. Why the painting is done and yeah, well, after the painting we should be able to get things a bit more settled until the carpets get installed. But I'm still working at it. Today's goal is what I was trying to do yesterday afternoon to get the rooms sorted out. The kitchen's not too bad. It's um, only got one tub in it, so that's fine. It can stay. And this room isn't too bad either, besides the bedding and a random ladder. <laughs> I can do with this room too. Uh, and vacuum the floor. So probably this room is going to be, this, these two rooms will be quite an easy area to start with. I might have to mop as well because some puppy ran through the house with muddy feet yesterday. I assume he was digging um, and they had been clearing out the gutters with the high pressure hose with a lot of water around. <laughs> yeah, it's just going to be crazy town. It's, I am so glad though that we started this process when we have to the painters are still working outside for a few more days and then they'll be moving in and we'll be moving out. <laughs> Well, Kevin and I will be anyway. We take off on Thursday. So I'm hoping well, there'll be a week. They'll be inside when we're not here. So that would be nice for us. But I have a fair bit to get done in before we go away. <laughs> I'm just going to take our, week, our time away very casual. I'm not going to prep a lot of food. We will just have easy meals or buy some stuff out. Or at supermarkets along the way. Because I do not have time. Although I do have two meals I want to prep actually for this week. But I will, um, I've forgotten about that. I need to sit and make a list. I wasn't feeling good earlier. I do feel a lot better after my shower. So hopefully that will continue. Because I've got a busy couple of days. I actually um, asked the dog walker to come the next two days as well. In addition to the week we're away. Just that's the walk itself is not a problem. But it's just the recovering from a walk. That's, I probably lose like an hour and a half to two hours for a walk. At the moment, I need to put that <laughs> energy into tidying this house. Anyway, I think I'm going to start by having some breakfast. I have already done the dishwasher. Oh, I've got to hang out the washing, actually. I'll do that first. If you can hear laundry, that's Kevin's sketches in the, um, in the washing machine. Thank goodness they can go in there because they are absolutely filthy because they got all the gunk on them from the gutters. <laughs> When it was high pressure hosing all the walls or something with him and his pants and his socks and shoes were terrible but it's a good thing about sketches they can go in the washing machine all righty so yeah lawn hang out washing get some breakfast i've got some hot cross buns i don't feel like the hot cross buns i took them out to have yesterday afternoon with kevin but obviously yesterday was crazy town <laughs> so i've still got them there they are defrosted and they've been frozen so i can't refreeze them Obviously, it's like it's not Easter now. So I think I'll just cook them for breakfast. It's not really what I want, but that gets them eaten. And then, yeah, then they're, they're, they're eaten then, aren't they? <laughs> I don't have to waste them. Oh, yeah, and then I'll sit and make a plan of what I need to try and do over the next two, three, three days. Unfortunately, I've got a dentist appointment this afternoon at two o'clock. So I'm going to have to leave for at 1.30, I guess, to get down there and be there, park. I do fit the, we checked, the, the um, van will fit in the car, undercover car park. If I can't find something outside, I can go there. But there is a big outside car park and at 2 o'clock, most of the mums will be out of there, going to pick their kids up from school shortly, I imagine. It's usually a pretty quiet time in the shop, so at 2, 2.30 is usually very quiet. So I should be able to get a parking spot, no worries. Oh. I've just got so much to do. Christy will be home today about 1.31, I think. So I'm gonna wait for her to come home anyway. And then I'll probably take off. <laughs> but at least the doggies will have some company. Or oh, they could have gone to mum and dad's. No, dad's gone to golf, I think. They should have, could have gone to mum's. All right, I'm moving on. Let's try and get this show on the road. Well, I've done a bit of a plan of food options for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Because obviously we're gonna have a heat up a dinner I take from home on the first night, then probably two nights with Fee, and then we've only got another four nights. So I've got like four ideas there, but we might buy something out to have for dinner. As long as we've got some options, that is fine to have. Try not to stress it. Just, we're going to just go easy, <laughs> go with the flow kind of a trip this time around. Normally I would plan to cook more or something like that, but this will be fine. I just don't think I need anything else. 
obviously some snacks. But again, we can buy, like, I'm not worried about taking a lot of stuff. We can go to the supermarket at Charlieville. We're there for a whole day. We can stop at any other supermarkets and just sort of buy as we need or as we go. I think we'll be the, for this trip, we'll be quite fine. And I'm going to see if I can find some nice vegan places along the way too that would possibly, particularly coming down the coast, that we could perhaps check out or visit. And it's, yeah, just trying to not be, just to make it easy. Make things easy. <laughs> I'm not feeling good again, though, and I really need to, or I should get up and go and start. Maybe I'll get up. I'll get up and I'll go and start making the carbonara. That's going to be our dinner tonight and the dinner we take away on Thurs for Thursday night because that'll be easy to heat up. Um, so I'll go and start on that, I think. <laughs> when I can get myself up off the couch, I am a bit pretty sore, actually. The post-shower glow didn't last too long. report in when I went to get a cup of tea I thought okay I'm gonna make my arm milk because I had forgotten I had to do that as well as make dinner and I thought okay I'm just gonna finish off doing the overnight oats so I did them we saw put them in the fridge so that's one thing I can well, I haven't put on the list but I can tick it off the list right on and tick it off the list straight away so next time I'm gonna have another cup of tea now made when I either go to go to the bathroom or another drink or something like that in half an hour or so, half an hour, an hour, whatever, whatever it takes to get up off the couch again, I will go and make dinner. <laughs> and then I'll see if I can clean and tidy the kitchen. It's not too bad. I mean, yeah, I need to run the vacuum through it. And then Christy's support workers come in this afternoon. So I do like to leave the kitchen fairly clean and tidy, but I can only do what I can do. So if I get dinner made, yes, we're winning. And then <laughs> if I can get a vacuum through, well, that's even better. I'll aim for those two things before like one o'clock when I'll probably just stop and have my lunch. I'm just going to do a veggie patty wrap so it's nice and easy and you know quick to eat compared to my potatoes or a salad. And then it's off to the dentist I go and I'm going to try and pick up a few things from the source that I need and a few things from the supermarket but I'll have to say I'm feeling I'm having four feelings so I just want to make sure my headphones are charged. I'm thinking of taking them down and seeing if I can wear them and play some music. I never used to bother me, but all the noises and stuff really bother me now and I, I get very sore and uncomfortable. So if I can listen to my music, that would help make the experience a bit more pleasurable. And they do have nice images up on the roof. So between that and my music, I'm sure it would be not too bad an experience. <laughs>
come down to the dentist. Christy is home, so that is good. Oh, did I forget my headphones? Me, I had them somewhere, so I didn't forget them. And I forgot them. Stay here. Bye, Coda Bear. Boy. Bye, darling. Won't be long. Go, Christy. Quick look at the state of the garage now. It's a trailer all packed up. Crazy. Hello, I arrived right on time. And I just got parking spot outside. That's just the ramp there, so the dentist is just around the corner and around the corner there and down a bit. And yeah, we're here. Can't wait to live down here. We've done the dentist, so uh, can't go into the source. Get a few things. Okay, well, I've got the few things I was after and a few little snacks for our road trip. Now I'm going to duck into Woolworths and pick up a few things. It's so nice when we live down here. Oh, my face is all puffy, isn't it? I don't know if that actually makes sense. <laughs> anyway, the feelings went okay. Got everything. Putting heads of cordial for the steamer. Oh, that's nice. unusual <laughs> at the start of a video. Oh, I thought my hair looked cute but now I'm thinking that's a bit fluffy and out of control. And yeah I'm actually um wearing a dress today. I just felt like it. I was looking at my clothes and I thought oh. and there's a few things I want to pack so I don't want to wear them so I can pack them. I thought oh, my fur dress is probably not going to be very practical. I may need to change because I'm going to be trying to get downstairs sorted out and then I have to come into my wardrobe which is part of the reason I thought wardress well, is fine because I might need to try a few things on to decide whether they're keeping whether I'm keeping them or whether it's going to go into storage or quite what the situation is because I need to try and get my wardrobe done ready for painting I'll see if I can get a bit of cleaning done in there I don't know we'll just have to see how the day goes uh, I was feeling really good surprisingly after my shower I do not feel that great but it's okay, I'm gonna sit and have my breakfast, I think now. Yeah, I've taken it out of the freezer, so I can have my breakfast. <laughs> my overnight oats will have warmed up slightly. <laughs> it won't be super cold. And yeah, I'm trying to make a little list of things. I won't even try and break it right down to little things like, I'd like to vacuum downstairs. I'd like to vacuum upstairs. I mean, they really need done. It really needs done. I don't know what kind of mess is created with painting though. So we'll, we'll see how we go if I manage to. I'm probably not gonna get everything done. Priority is, I guess, getting downstairs tidied and put boxes away that can get put away and just trying to move things out the road for the painting. And then and then my clothes up here, obviously my wardrobe. Again, we could just take everything out and they could put, we could put everything back in, but I may as well go through it now and then just put back in what I need to put back in. It'll be less. <laughs> That's a job that needs doing, so. And then obviously before, just before the house goes to the market, more will come out of the wardrobe to make it, little, make it look a little bit better. But by then I might have to put like wintery stuff away. I don't have that much stuff. Real, real, I don't have, can't talk. I don't have much real wintery stuff. So, and with the weather the way it is these days, you just never know what you're gonna get all through the year. <laughs> so it's not really ideal just to pack everything up anymore like it used to be. Our seasons are all a bit mulled up. All right, I'm gonna go downstairs and um, we have my breakfast. I'm really trying to do things in bits and pieces. So while I was here grabbing my breakfast, I thought I'll do a few things. So I've um, chopped up or sliced up the potatoes and you've got to pre-cook the potatoes for this Mexican street corn potato casserole. Actually, I've got to air fry that corn as well. Or I'll get that going as well, forgot about that. So I did that and I've also cut up some sweet potato and put um, some of the grains onto the dog so I can get meals made in the freezer for when we're away. 
Then I will start a bit of washing. But yeah, I need to get the air fryer out and air fry some corn cobs. Still having my breakfast and uh, working on editing a video. I've got a piercing, really bad headache right there. I had a really strong headache last night too. Sort of came out the blue, but so this one a bit. So I'm gonna go and take something for it and then come back and finish my breakfast. Oh, it's um, yeah, quite excruciating. Just yeah, only in that little spot right there. Does anyone, else, does anyone understand headaches at all? Because I don't understand them. Oh. Just outside with the dog, because this area is quite a different colour to what it was. It was a uh, much more, it's pretty nicer actually. Another window looks a bit odd though, I think. It was more of a creamy colour. It's probably more the colour of the roof. Yeah, I think it's actually quite nice. It's softer, I guess. I just don't know how it goes with the windows, but when it's cleaned up, we'll be okay. Unfortunately, I've still got quite the headache. It's moved. <laughs> it's now in a bant across here. <sighs> but I, I don't know. I don't want to do anything because I'm sore. I might just give it a bit more time, maybe. I've got all day. What is it? It's five past ten. I'll just give it some more. I might have another cup of tea. <laughs> oh, actually, I will try and do something in the kitchen. Let me try and do something. I'll try and finish up dinner or something at least, and then sit. <laughs> I've got to use the blender, of course, haven't I? I'm not sure if I updated you after the dentist yesterday. I think I briefly said it went well and it was okay. I just found out, I think I might have mentioned last time after my, yeah, I had the tooth, the chip fixed up. I just ring to say, make sure everything's okay. Just, I love our new dentist. Uh, yeah, really positive experience, which is great. Walking distance, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Well, it wasn't for me yesterday, but it will be next time I go for my checkup in six months or whatever. Let's hope there's no more feelings next time. But yeah, it was fine because I have a small mouth, so it's always quite an uncomfortable procedure at the dentist. <laughs> um, and I had three fillings on one side, and I was sort of. I thought he did one, and then went to the other side. I thought he must be coming back to this side again, but he'd already done the three. I think they were together, so I hadn't sort of noticed. <laughs> And yeah, and the one, and it wasn't too bad. This was the worst because it's further back. So like, they're going, oh. I don't know how they work in my mouth. <laughs> Feels like the dentist didn't work in my mouth. But anyway, we got down here, was fine. But they're very nice and friendly and really great experience. And obviously a lot more than my last dentist. He was obviously, he's the same age as us, maybe a few years older than us, maybe five years older than us or something. So you could sort of see he wasn't spending money on the clinic or updating or anything because obviously he was going to retire. So yeah, it was fine. I realized on the way down that the headphones weren't gonna work because I, he, I wouldn't be able to hear any instructions from him. So I just left them in the car and they have got the TV up above so I could just watch, I was watching animals. Uh, it was a, a David, David Attenborough documentary was on. Couldn't really hear it, but it had the subtitles on so I could read it. So that was good. I think that really helped. Maybe that made what distracted me from the three fillings in one go, but yeah, really good experience. I've got my camera, I was gonna get my camera so I can do a bit of a, a bit, bit of a time lapse for you guys while I finish off our dinner and the dog's first load. I'm gonna do a couple of loads of grains for them so I can pop some in the freezer. So I'll finish off that as well. Unfortunately, Christy did not get to the dishwasher again. A bit annoying, but I'll leave it for her to do later on. Uh, probably, yeah, I will, because I've got other stuff to do and deal with this headache now as well.
need to get up and moving. I don't want to, but I'm going to. I'm going to try and clear the dining table off. This over the floor. I'd love to run the vacuum through in here, or when I need to take off stuff up near the TV for ready for painting. So I'll go and find. Oh, I don't need a tub because I can put it in the cabinet underneath the TV. So do that. I've got to pick up dog toys that are all over the floor. Actually, sort through the dog toys. So let's see if I can spend like half an hour or so in here. How are we going? It's nearly twelve. I've got the afternoon. I've got plenty of time. <laughs> oh dear. The clothes probably aren't too bad because. I can always consult my Cladwell app and see what I'm actually not wearing and then go from there. <laughs> but yeah, let's um, try and get this room done. And maybe the front entry area and then that'll make a big difference to down here. And then maybe even after lunch, I can move upstairs and do up there. It's okay. I get there just very, very slowly some days. <laughs>
sure what I've been doing, but I've been busy and dished up the last of the dog's dinners. So they've got seven dinners now. So Christy might need to make some of the night we come home, but she can cook some pasta or something. Or we'll probably home in time to do it anyway. Hopefully we finish driving by three, four every day. That's sort of the goal, I think. Let's just get settled in before it's dark. And actually Kevin's may have to home by three o'clock for an appointment when we come home. But anyway. You guys don't need to know all that. I did go around trying to move some boxes, but some are too heavy and I can't get over where I want to put them in the in the garage. So I'll probably just leave that for now. And maybe once we hook up the trailer tomorrow, we can move some more boxes just to get them out of the road for the painters. I don't know. We could possibly stack them in here, I guess, in the middle of the room. Because they've got to be the roof. So they're starting inside tomorrow upstairs. I think it's going around and sanding. Architraves and stuff, I think he said. Not really sure. So, yeah, <laughs> inside starts. And I'll just move things as they need to. The time I set to go upstairs and work in my wardrobe. Hopefully, it won't be too bad. I mean, I've been through it many times, as you guys have known, but I need to get rid of painting. So, <sighs> yeah, at least I can. I can't stack things. I don't know where I can stack things, but I need to do ceilings. Anyway, gonna go up, see what I can do. I know there's a few items I'm gonna get rid of, <laughs> and yeah, some I can pack up for the new home, I guess. Anyway, see what I can do. Well, of course, we have to do it before. So these are my clothes. So all the ones at the top do not fit, so <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. I've been losing a bit of weight, but they stayed the same for ages. And then that's a nice shelf unit. Kevin's got a jacket up there. And quite a few of his robes are on the floor, which I'm assuming he's not going to be keeping. And then I've got my a few scarves that remain from my collection and all my headbands, <laughs> which of course I'm keeping, but um, I'll move out for now, obviously for the painting. <sighs> so, so I think I'm going to start looking for the bra there as well. I think I'm supposed to go back downstairs with my exercise stuff. A few things to try that possibly can go into storage like that might be not quite fitting that I'll put into storage I just want to check how they are and yeah everything else is stuff that I do actually currently wear so I've got I do have a pile of clothes that for some reason or another, I'm not currently wearing. Like I know that's a little bit tight, so 
it can go into storage. What else have we got here? I think they're just my summer. Yeah, this is my summer shorts. Well, not the shorts, leggings. No, not leggings. And like shorts. Better leave them out. So we don't know how long things are going to be in storage. That's my Hawaii dress. Things that don't fit. I don't wear this, but it's a jacket. But it's really nice. The colour's my colour. I was going to keep it and see. <laughs> uh, that's why it's. It is, it is nice. It's a nice jacket. So, and obviously, once we move, my lifestyle will change because I'll probably add a bit more jeans that don't fit. And a top that was too big, but I'm wearing one similar, another size. So, I think sometimes it depends on what kind of bra I've got on, how they, how things fit. Because you know, I've got my super comfortable bras that <laughs> let everything hang where it wants to hang. And I've got other bras that are more supportive and lift things up. And I find that can have a big impact on how my tops fit. I'll just try that one on again. Even like just, I don't have around the house clothes anymore, but <laughs> look at that. What are you? Where are you? Oh, okay, yeah, I'll um. It's nice, it's one of the Paris Nights top for being black and black is not my colour, so I just found I was not wearing a black one. So it can go. That's all the clothes that I have here. So I'll go through my drawers. I know I've got some bras that I don't wear anymore. And then I've got to get these boxes down from up there. This is a funny one. I bought this dress, gosh, probably 10 years ago now when I was losing a lot of weight. Well, I'd lost a lot of weight. And then I stopped losing weight and it never quite fitted. I don't think it's ever gonna fit, do you? <laughs> I have to lose a lot more weight. Um, I'd actually given it to the kids at one stage. I think I might like that. I think I give it to Christy and she wore it. I don't know if she wore it or not. And she gave it back to me. She was going to donate it. I saw it in her donate pile and I rescued it. But I might just pass on to Thea because she could use the material if nothing else. It's so pretty. But like, look at even the straps. I don't wear things with thin spaghetti straps, really. So, yeah, I'll pass it on to Thea. She doesn't want it. I'm sure she can donate it up there. She's so pretty. <laughs> This side just has two bags. Why don't you have three bags, like this sort of size bag? And this one folds up. I'm not letting go of my flamingo bag. That is for sure. The other one, I'll have a look at these because one of these might work in the van. I was going to buy a new bag for like going to the showers and stuff that would take a towel and a change of clothes and one of these is probably fine. That's at least flattens. And that one obviously folds up so that might even be the better one. I was going to buy a new bag. I don't need to. Actually that one might work for Kevin maybe. Just to carry all that stuff over to the shower blocks. I think I'll just leave his stuff in here and he can come in and he can have a look at it tonight. Just like all these robes he's got. He wasn't having any other clothes. The only other thing, he has a lot of jackets. He's got five jackets plus that big one, so that's six jackets. And last time we went through his jackets, I got rid of a few because he tends to wear the same one to maybe two and the others, but he'll go, oh, it's got a specific use, but I just found another robe that I got for him for travel, which he doesn't, I don't think he's ever worn it, so I could probably donate it. Put that on the floor with the other ones.
my clothes in here. Now, obviously, I will take, well, I'm hoping when it gets close to putting the house on the market, I can take out more wintry things. Or I'll just take out some more things anyway, full stop. We do have a dirty washing basket there, so if I take that out, it'll come out every day we go out. Or when we're showing. Maybe I should pack up some extra shoes and stuff. For now. Because I've got to move them to paint, I just realised that. Um, Alright, I might take away some shoes as well. And the clothes will just have to come out and go back in. Stuff I'm probably going to take away. So I've still got to do Kevin. So you, I don't think I showed it, but I took all my hair things off. I've just put them in the drawers because obviously the drawers aren't going anywhere. <laughs> they don't need to be empty too painted. I don't think, or do they? Do they paint in the back of that? They may do. I guess they will do it if they need to do it, but they're in drawers anyway. So when Kevin comes home, we're going to try and do his stuff. At least they're in tubs. His won't be too bad, actually, because it's his clothes. And then his tubs, if we can sort out this stuff. So a few, a few things to try on. Make sure I'm going to keep them. But yeah. And obviously I'll be taking clothes away with me. I don't think it's going to be particularly warm, so if I'm not taking any summery clothes, I'll be taking more sort of three-quarter sleeves, I think. I don't have got any warm days actually coming up. It's going cold, if anything. So out here I've got, that's my storage. Still got to do these tubs. And I've got a few things with the, some donate stuff and donate stuff. So I'll go through these tubs, see if I can get rid of some more things. Or at least in baskets I can just, I don't know, <laughs> put them somewhere. They can, probably the end of the bed and they can pop them on the bed when they're ready to do stuff up in here. It's very hard because I don't know the procedure of things. And Kevin's going to have to do something with that. My stuff can just go in the drawers pretty easy. All right, I'll sit and do this, and then it's four o'clock nearly, so I'm, yeah, no wonder I'm pretty done. That's taken nearly an hour. He's not going to do it now, of course. Now it's drink break, I think. It's been crazy running around, haven't you? I'll catch you do that another time, hey? It's very cute. He rears back and he like, uses his front paws to attack. <laughs> I've never seen him do it before. Oh, you're hiding behind Mama. Yep, he's... <laughs> you need a break, mate. Do you need a break? Your brother's a bit of a crazy, isn't he? He's a bit of a craze. They've been crazy. 
I'll catch this plane next time.